We're closing our 17th dog meat farm here in South Korea, and this one is very unique. Because of COVID-19, uh, we are having to quarantine for two weeks. The hardest part for me was waking up at 2 a.m. and leaving my animals. I love you, Minnow. I'm gonna miss you like crazy. I love you, boss. Getting some packing done. Getting the side eye. Some of these guys know what's going on. Well, we've been in the air for about 13 hours. Anxious to get there, um, see Adam and Abby, and start this process because like, I just can't wait to get to the farm. Well, I just got to the airport. Adam and Abby have gotten off already this morning, so I'm excited to get there and see them before we head into lockdown, so. Here we go. After a little bit of looking and messaging in the airport, we all connected, which was a wonderful moment. And it felt like, okay, this, this rescue mission is real now. <laughs> we still didn't know exactly where we were going, just that we were going to a hotel that had been designated as a quarantine facility. I say goodbye to Abby and Kelly. Uh, we've got separated, secluded in our own rooms. It was weird to say goodbye knowing we wouldn't physically see each other for another two weeks. An announcement just came on. I just got into the room. So we'll see what they have to say. Leaving your rooms during quarantine period is strictly prohibited. We have to take our temperature once a day and enter it into this app, stating that we also don't have any symptoms. And it also has a tracker to track to make sure you're staying where you're supposed to be. So every day we have to put our trash in one of these bags. Spray it down with the disinfectant. We're gonna be here for two weeks and then we're gonna have a tremendous effort to get out there and get those dogs. And, and so I wanna make sure I stay in shape, don't get injured after being so sedentary for two weeks and then getting out there and being super active for a few days to get these guys out. Nara, who is our campaign manager in Korea, is checking in on them and making sure they're okay. They live in a cage that doesn't even have a solid floor. Some of them are tied to a chain and, and you know, I feel like I have limited freedom here, but I mean, theirs is just non-existent. And when I think about that, it, it, it just makes everything doable. Um, and it makes me actually want to be here. There's probably about a dozen announcements that come on over the day through the loudspeaker in the sky. CCTV is recording every hallway and monitoring for 24 hours. Yesterday was day six. It was Saturday and I was feeling a little cooped up and missing everyone. Hey! <laughs> hey from next door. Um, food has been a bit challenging. Nora, our amazing HSI Korea colleague, I got the hotel to agree to a one-time delivery of food products for us. My God, hummus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got a little stir crazy for a little bit today. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> I'm having a little hard time this morning, but you know, looking at photos and videos of the dogs on the farm, they're just, they're so, sad. Drove home the point that we can't get there soon enough. It won't stop me from coming back to Korea every chance I get to help more of the dogs here. This is what it takes to close a dog meat farm during a global pandemic. So it's what we're going to do.